Edges define everything on our course, from where fairways meet greens, where buildings end, walls, they're all decided by the edge. And as many times while we're designing our course, we're going to need to turn these edges because they're not going to be facing in the right direction for what we want to do. So I'm just going to briefly explain about edges. I really had trouble with edges when I started. I don't know why. I could understand the need for turning them. I, I could understand how to turn them. It was a simple matter of using the edge turning. But I couldn't, for the life of me, get it into my head what was going to happen when I turned the edge. Uh, I would turn an edge and it wouldn't be pointing in the way I want it at all and I'd t turn it back and turn another edge and another edge and I really struggled so I'm just going to quickly explain what happens when you turn an edge it's incredibly simple and as long as you can follow this I uh, don't think you'll have the problems that I had uh, so anyway we already know every face on our course is created from three verts and three edges that connect the three verts and what you'll see is also every edge is shared by two faces so this edge here is shared these two this edge here is shared by these two faces so everywhere one edge is shared by two faces now what happens when we turn an edge the edge that is shared rotates round to connect the two verts of the two faces that aren't being shared. So this edge here being shared by these two faces, if we turn this edge it will connect to this vert and this vert which are the two verts in those two faces that aren't being shared by that edge. So this edge will turn round and go this way instead and we'll then have a face here and a face here and basically that's it so hopefully you won't get in the mess I like I say that I got in um, there's, there's times when it's still a little complicated because to move an edge it's all right at the moment on this nice neat mesh where everything's sort of symmetrical and there's no problems you can see immediately uh, how to move it but once we've got lots of verts in and up close you'll find you want to join an edge you can't rotate it the way you want because there's another edge in the way so you'll have to rotate that first and then the edge you want and then the first one you rotated you rotate back again so it's still a little a little complicated at times but as long as you grasp the simple concept that the shared edge will join to the two verts that aren't shared uh, you should be able to work out which ones to turn when to turn them it's a bit like a a puzzle game sometimes but it'll all make sense uh, later on so I'll now show you how to turn the edges and we'll go to terrain and edge and turn command which is this rotating double arrow so click that and as I demonstrated we know where this edge is going to go now I'll turn it and it's now created two faces that way round and an edge here. Now there will be times when an edge won't be able to be turned because it will be impossible uh, for it to connect. Uh, I could demonstrate it right here because this edge, if we want to try and turn it, I can click on it and nothing's happening at all. Why is that? Well it's trying to connect to the two verts that aren't being used aren't being shared by this 
these two faces. So where are they? Well, one's this point here, and the other is this point here. Well, it can't rotate to there because th this vert here is in the way. If I go to move vert and move this vert a little way that way, you'll now see from that point to that point it could actually rotate now so if I go back to edge rotate we can now rotate it go back to vert and move while this was there we couldn't rotate it if it's anywhere this side again it won't be able to rotate because this edge in order to rotate would have to go along here to get to that point and it would have to cross these two edges which it's not allowed to do so that's the thing you have to understand why edges won't turn sometimes uh, and there will always be a reason and it's because it's impossible <laughs> it's, uh, and it can seem totally illogical when you're doing your course sometimes because it looks possible sometimes on the screen. What you have to remember is you're not only working in two dimensions, you're working in three dimensions. There's also a height factor. So although it might look like you could turn, say, this edge on some um, terrain, you might find you can't turn this edge to connect to these two. And the reason will be because of the height of this and the height of this and the height of this and the height of this may make it impossible for it to connect and other verts obviously around and at different heights as well uh, it can all get a bit a bit complicated so quite often you'll have to if you can't turn an edge you'll have to rotate around in three dimensions so you'd go to your camera and you'd have to look around and up and down um, and figure out why that edge won't turn and there will be a reason. Now one thing about edge turning that I haven't mentioned is this is one of the uh, things that cause the memory overflow problems and the crashes. If you turn an awful lot of uh, edges on your course it's likely to crash on you. You can normally save your course. It's not disastrous with the edge turning. Uh, the crash usually you've got time to save it uh, you'll get a error message pop up a window I can't remember what it says but you will be able to hold control and whatever the shortcut is for save it's s I think save control and s you'll be able to hold control and s and save it and then quit out the program and it'll be fine but you normally can tell when it's going to crash because things get sluggish you'll turn an edge and instead of an instant turn there'll be a half second delay before it turns and it feels a bit odd and you think why is, why is it going so slow and that's usually just before it crashes so if you find it's lagging a little save it and quit out the program and then come back in 